when we think about putting together a program or we think about like training in general. Um, and so I, I like this because I've heard like a, like a pyramid analogy. Some people say like the, the top of a pyramid, the peak is only as, as tall as the base is wide. Have you guys, any of you guys ever heard that? Okay, cool. So a couple years ago, I, uh, I went to a seminar held by Ivan Abijayev, who's the coach of the Bulgarian weightlifting team. And he like brought that up and he's like, yeah, that's cool, but skyscrapers are a lot taller than pyramids and they just go straight up. So don't bother building the base, like it just like specificity go heavy. And I was like, I don't know if that like really makes a lot of sense. So I like to think about it more as like a tree. If you want like a really tall tree, you gotta have really deep roots. And it goes in stages, like it doesn't just grow roots and then trunk. You know, the roots grow deeper, the trunk grows a little bit taller. The roots grow deeper, the trunk grows taller. It goes in stages, and I think training's a lot like that. So you gotta spend some time growing those, your roots a little bit deeper, building a bigger base, and then you can increase the height of your trunk. You can build that peak strength up. And then you gotta come back down, rebuild the base, build it bigger, so you can peak higher and consistently go over and over. And if you do that for a period of years and years, you can end up with a really high peak and hitting some pretty impressive results. So I always like to keep that in mind um, when I'm training. And especially because it can be get it can get pretty difficult mentally when like you're on a roll and you're hitting a lot of PRs and like that peak is going up, <clears throat> excuse me, up and up and up. It can be tough to like take it back down and like go back to doing volume and going back to doing some like boring work. But it really is important for like long term progress. And if you just like keep focusing on growing that trunk taller and taller, hitting heavy weights all the time, all the time, without the root system to support it, like eventually the tree just fall over. And that's analogous to like you get burnt out. You get hurt, you get injured, and that sort of stuff happens to a lot of lifters who, again, get too focused on hitting the heavy weights all the time, and they don't build up the, the support system they need. Um, and that ends a lot of careers. So just something to keep in mind if like this is something you're interested in doing for a long time, that like you gotta remember to build those roots. So this isn't like a comprehensive list, but there's a, a couple different things that you can train for. Um, you can train for hypertrophy, so building muscle. You can train for general strength. And both of those are, are ways that we can like grow the roots of our tree a little bit deeper. And then we can have like a competition or a peaking phase where we're trying to hit like our heaviest weights. And that's you know when we go ahead and grow that trunk. So <clears throat> different like things that's like different goals or different like things we're gonna be doing for each of those phases. So a hypertrophy phase is pretty straightforward, we're trying to build muscle, maybe train a little bit like a like a bodybuilder, but of all the types of training you're gonna do, this is gonna have the highest amount of volume. So sets times reps times weight is gonna be higher. And that means that like weight itself, the intensity is gonna be lower. So most of the time if you're trying to like build some muscle, and this is really important if you're gonna lift weights, like muscle moves weight. So building muscle is really important. You're gonna be most of the time between like 60 to 75%. And you're gonna be doing a lot more like variation. So a lot of those supplemental exercises, assistance exercises, a lot less of a focus on the competition list. And this is what you're gonna do when you're like, not necessarily what you're gonna do, but what you would do farthest away from a competition, because it's the most general in, in terms of training. Um, and then like total reps are gonna rest somewhere between like six and 15. So uh, if, you, if you guys are familiar at all, like the typical like bodybuilding range is like eight to 12. And so that's usually where we're gonna be, a little bit on either side. And that's what's gonna do um, the most in terms of like time under tension and, and providing stimulus for like building bigger muscles. So moving right along, the next one, oh yeah. Uh, what would be total sets, like, uh, or rep number? Hmm. Um, that could vary, uh, and that's going to depend a little bit on, like, frequency. So if I'm training, like, one, like, squats once a week, then I can do, total, like, a larger amount of volume than if I were going to do it, like, twice a week. <clears throat> So, and, and again, it also depends on like how many exercises you're gonna do. Um, usually I'd be thinking somewhere between like 30 to 50 total working reps uh, per like a body part per training session. You could maybe play around on like the higher end of that if you're doing like, you know, certain like assistance movements like leg extensions and like, you know, leg presses and stuff like that. You, you can do higher than that. But on like core style lifts, that's probably about where you're gonna wanna be. Uh, so do you have a question? Okay. Um, but there's not like necessarily a, a set prescription for that. And the other thing too is to remember, like let's say I got like a six week block of like hypertrophy. I still want to keep in mind that idea of like progressive overload. So I may start out with like fewer total like total reps, and then gradually increase that week to week. So I still get a, a type of like progression over that course of that uh, that training period. 